Hey guys, it's me, VacMaster2020, and today's video is going to be me making a big mess test with my AirVac Central Vacuum, with my Recar Pizzazz Powerhead, and my Hayden Superhose. Direct connect, the one from my Hayden, then goes to my one to my Recar, and then my Recar. As you can tell, there's uh, what we're going to be trying to clean up. Let me just try and spread this out a bit. And then we'll suck all that up with the hose. So, little shoes off because they're now disgusting. Put those on my rubber mat that usually sits there and let's go. Oh wait, I'll show you guys the suction power first. Oh, jeez. And I will be replacing the hose soon and getting an EBK360 Wessel work. So let's go. Sounds like a problem. Ooh. And this was not flawlessly clean before starting, but it didn't have all this stuff on it. There you go. Oh, geez. Lots of hair. Ooh, and carpet fiber, but that's from... I used a Hoover um, T-Series with the brush roll on-off. And it, it's a red T series for gonna be for sale. But what tool should I use? Oh, I'm actually missing one. Me. I'll use the Kirby. That's there we go. Ooh, I was wondering where that went. Shouldn't have sucked this up. Shoelace. Been wondering where that went for the last week. I, I do not have to empty my central vacuum very often, but when I do... There we go. That should be better. Not perfect, though. So, here we go. Hayden Super... Super Hose. Yep, hold on. I'm plugged up somewhere. Sorry, guys. Oh, where did I plug it? Not plugged at the inlet, so there we go. That should seal well enough. And I've added a switch to my. <coughs> Temporary on that. There we go, guys. Sorry. About the plug, it's just this old. 
Hayden. Hayden Hose. It's I got this from it, the original owners of it. They had it from 2000 was the year that the uh, motor was made, and it's an Amatec Lamb. Sorry about that. My family's out there. My sisters and mom. Plugged it up again. And you guys will see a picture on the thumbnail of what the unit looks like. Can you... Sorry, guys. Do, 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 do. Sorry, guys. Two seconds. Gotta be careful not to suck up the kitchen sink here. And what I mean by that is suck up a million particles at one time. Here, let me go get my other hose. I've got one more hose. I might be able to fit. Sorry guys, sorry about all the wait time, but I've plugged it a couple times, so. Sorry guys, I apologize for all the waiting, but So I'm just going to remove the couple of particles that it will be plugging this unit all the time, and so will these two. Oh, jeez. Two seconds, guys. I'm sorry again.
guys, I've got a better solution. I'm sorry for the minute wait. I've got my Recar hose connected to another hose that's connected, and then I've got a switch on the box. Now we're not going to have a clogging problem, or it's very rare to. Sorry guys, but I sucked up something way too fast. Plugged it at the easiest spot to, to fix. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Let's finish. And then we'll get... I'll hook the other hose back up in two seconds. Sorry. Two seconds again. Sorry guys, that I didn't plug it the last two seconds ago, but I did. So let's... That's the piece that was caught. Let's get it now. And the reason I have those is one of my family members has diabetes and has to check their uh, blood sugar every so often. Here, I'll show you guys what clogged last time. Here it is. I've got this piece. Oh, it didn't. Oh, yes, it did. Right there. Oh, man. Jeez, I plugged up my head. out of there. Oh, it was that metal piece that plugged it. I thought I was clear from that. There we go. I got it all. Now... My adapter piece until I get a uh, hose cut for, for this. Oh, geez, I'm not even showing it on the camera. For this. There we go. And here's a normal 120 volt 10 amp switch or 244 amps. Just wired in parallel with the valve. Jeez, I'm still getting low air flow. Now that's interesting. Never plugged the hose before. Super bad. That was kind of dumb of me. I plugged this hose up with whatever, I don't know. There we go. I 
I apologize guys for such the putting down of the camera, but Sorry guys. Come on. Oh, it's plugged. Sorry guys, let's continue. Figured out what was wrong with my power head. There we go, now we should be able to. Okay guys, I'm going to sit you guys down for two seconds and go grab my other power head. Here we go guys. I'm not going to show you guys on the camera yet until it's time to show you. Jeez, I can't speak today. My rainbow... Uh, uh, SE power head and then uh, 
Here is my Hayden Deluxe Super Pack Power Nozzle. And I'll show you the difference. Show you guys the difference. I will say this thing does not sound 100% like it normally does, but I don't know why. And yes, I do have the brush roll backwards to make it slightly easier to push. That wouldn't make the noise though that it's making. I've used it like that for a little while. My main power head is my Ricard Pizzazz power head. And what, let's see the damage. It's a dusty neck and then, eh, I've seen worse. I probably won't clean it much more than removing this and just call it that good enough for now and then I'll just use it as it is get my twisty dusting brush one thing I will do though is uh, definitely remove the dust and this thing oh geez my cam my iPhone SE 2020 is not doing the best with the actual color this it's not this color in real life But I, sh I think I'm shooting in 4K, so I don't understand why it's not giving me my normal 4K quality. Eh. They just replaced my screen and battery, so it could be a screen thing. And here's the Hayden Powerhead. And yes, I switched over to speed one, or setting one on this one. Now, I'm gonna get my crevice tool and clean this mess up. There is that, and I have my Dyson Tangle Free Turbo. I don't remember where I set my Hayden upholstery tool. I think it's upstairs, but this thing has an agitator, beater bars, so that did pick some more dust up that this and the other rainbow head missed. I also... Just picked up another Rainbow E E series, just the standard E series. I just recently picked another one of those up, but I will be hopefully event soon picking up a EBK three or EBK three sixty with the uh, power nozzle, with the correct power nozzle that goes with that. Or sorry hose a plastiflex it'll be the whatever comes with the it comes with that i can't think it's hard to think Ugh. it'll have the what it was what is it it'll have a plastiflex uh, what it what 35 foot pigtail hose my i'm going to be installing my central vacuum myself even though it is temporarily installed with my original 35 foot hose 
bit. <laughs> yeah, so you would have had to, that's why they make the wand like this. So you can have this straight, have that top part straight so you can steer it slightly. And this to me, I know, I guess Hayden bought all their attachments from Kenmore. Sorry guys. Here, I'll see how fast this spins. This thing's more powerful than any vacuum I currently have uh, for sale. More powerful than anything I will have for sale for a while. Don't worry, guys. I'm not making my ruining my whole house. The, my bathroom's brand ten year old carpet. What I did is I still have to carpet clean it. So I've not carpet cleaned it yet. So I uh, I'm doing this before I carpet clean it. <laughs> I've got a lot of vacuums. I've got two rainbows here at the new house with me, and then I've got oh, bunch of others, including my air vac central vac. The original owners of it, they actually, I got the box because they put the old unit in the box with the hose wrapped around the unit. And the original unit, or the new unit they bought was a Electrolux, or a Aris Centralux Central Vacuum with the Aris hose and all that. Hmm. What else can I do in this video? I've got one other thing I'm going to go grab. Two seconds, guys. Don't. Can I show both fingers without lifting my phone? Two seconds. Be right back. Oh, the carpet's actually nice and soft. I love how fluffy it is. Nice carpet. Was not cheap. My videos go, go out as soon as I post them, as soon as I make them. So, I found where I put my upholstery tool. It was actually down in my breakfast nook because I was doing some cleaning out there. So here's my Dyson with a eh, tiny bit of dust, but not much in the bin. I'll try to vacuum where I just emptied the bin, not vacuum there. Such a high pitch motor, I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm a collector who prefers a quieter machine. Preferably central vacuum quiet. So. That is what the Dyson picked up. And uh, that is not honestly that much. I will probably go run downstairs real fast. And uh, grab my... <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys have watched to the end of the video. You are... I'd really like to hit 100 subscribers before January 30th next year.
thank you guys for watching, and this has been a VacMaster 2020 video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.